everybody, it is Julie, and welcome back to Nobody's Beauty Guru. I'm here with my trash, so it's time to go over my empties. I have them all laid out in front of me. I've divided them up by little categories, so let's jump in. I think this time around I have 29 products to go over, so I'm gonna give you super, super quick little product reviews along with everything that I've finished up since my last empties check-in. Body care, this is deodorant. I finished up the Primal Pit Paste in Lavender. This is a natural deodorant. I did just decide that I wanted to try to go more natural with my deodorants. A friend recommended this to me and I really, really enjoyed it. So I've ordered more. I can only get them on Amazon. I don't, I don't know if they really sell them anywhere else, but this, for being all natural, does a phenomenal job. I wore this all summer and it was like really stinking hot and humid and this worked great. So I really love it. I've already reordered more. We'll go into the cleansers. So I finished up a NYX eye makeup remover. So this is eye and lip makeup remover. It's one of those ones that you had to like shake up because it was separating, you know, the oil from the other part. And this worked really, really well on my eye makeup, especially my uh, Lights Camera Splashes, my waterproof mascaras. I loved this. Next, I have my makeup remover wipes. These are the Absolute Makeup Cleansing Tissues in Pomegranate with pomegranate extract. These were a sample that I got. I didn't buy these. They took off nothing. So I used these 10 wipes to either clean off my desk or clean off swatches, but even that was a struggle. I did not enjoy these. No thank you on that. And then I went through three of the e.l.f. makeup removing cloths. If you watch my last empties video, which I will link up here, you should. I love these. And I told you that they'll be in every single empties video that I ever do, and they will be until I find something else that I love as much. And then we'll go over some of my face masks. So I used up two of these pink lemonade face masks from The Creme Shop. I put these in a haul, so I'll link that up here. You can see what else I got in that haul. And they worked fine. They were hydrating. That was pretty much all they did. I'm not sure if they were supposed to do something else. The lemon is supposed to help with acne and acne scarring. Nope but they hydrate it just fine. They were your regular face mask. This is the Miss Spa Hydrogel Lip Treatment Deep Wrinkle with Caviar Extract and Sodium Hydrolorate Hyaluronic. Hyaluronate. Guys, the words. I don't know. It was like a little lippy mask. And if you follow me on Snapchat, you saw me trying to use it. My friend Danny said it looked like a sex toy. It was just a weird jelly rubber that you put on your mouth for 45 minutes. It made me feel ridiculous. Actually it was like mildly uncomfortable just because it kept like sliding. Like you couldn't sit up and wear it because it would like slide down your face. So I had to like lay back the whole time with these fake jelly lips on my face, which was awkward. I didn't see any wrinkle reduction around my mouth. I do get like the smile lines on the side here. I don't know that I would repurchase it for six or eight bucks, but this was cruelty free, sulfate, paraben free, fake fragrance free. So I mean, good for you, but I mean, nothing spectacular. I used the Deep Wrinkle Hydrogel Mist Spa. I little patches as well. Again, if you follow me on Snapchat, no beauty guru, you would have seen this. I may or may not have been slightly hungover from imbibing in too much wine and figured, hey, let me put some moisture back into my face, my mouth, and, you know, my eyes. It did fine. Did it de-puff? Did it de-wrinkle? Did it do all this, like, magical stuff with a one-time use? No, but it was nice just to relax and have something cooling on my eyes. Hair stuff. There's a lot of samples here from like my sample stuff I didn't finish in my sample September, which if you did not watch my sample September was a huge success. I will link that up here because I'm very proud of it. But I had some more items that I finished up. This is the Renee Furterer, Furterer, Renee Furterer. This is a an intense nourishing mask for your hair. I used this all in my hair, one time use. It felt soft, it felt hydrated. It wasn't anything magical, nothing that made me go like, holy crap, my color treated hair feels phenomenal, I have to go out and buy this. Nothing like that, but it did fine. The Bumble and Bumble. So can you explain to me how something's a leave-in slash wash-out conditioner? It's either leave-in or wash-out, like you've got to make up your mind. But I think depending on how you use this, you could either work it through and then rinse it, or you could just work it in after you were done with your shampoo, conditioner, and leave it. I chose to work it in after my shampoo and conditioner and leave it as added moisture protection for my hair. So I got about four uses out of this, just putting a little dab in throughout my hair. 
and I liked it. Again, it wasn't anything phenomenal. I like my Miracle 10 better and you know, it was fine to use, but nothing that I'm going to go run out and purchase. But if you're looking for something, it, I didn't hate it. And the same could be said with this Caviar CC Cream 10 in 1 Complete Correction Leave-In Hair Perfector by Alterna. So almost a full flow down. So there was a lot of product in this. And I was able to use this in my travel bag. And it took me about a month to go through for me to use up just through my overnights or traveling. And I really enjoyed it, especially while I was up the mountains and not doing very much. I would use this after a shower as a leave-in conditioner and almost styling just to help with frizz and then let my hair just kind of do whatever it wanted to do. If I was going out anywhere though afterwards, I would use this as a leave-in and then still follow with my styling products. But otherwise, this did really, really well. I enjoyed this. Then I had a Breath of Fresh Air toner spray. So this is the toner water from Lush. I am now fully out of my Lush toner waters, which makes me panic because I love them. But I have a couple of Mario Badescu rose water toner waters that I want to get through first before I go out and repurchase more of these. But these are by far my favorite. I love these. I would repurchase these over and over and over and over again. I love them. Then I had the Caudalie. This was the Reservitol, Reservitrol Lift Eye Lifting Balm. So I got a lot of use out of this. It was pretty stinking empty, honestly, when I got it. I think this was a Birchbox sample. There was not much in this, but it did last a really long time because you use like a little tiny, tiny bit underneath each eye every night. And I liked it. I don't know that I saw like glaringly crazy effects, but I did notice that my under eyes felt very hydrated, very soft, very nice. I have other stuff that kind of does the same but I really did like using this as a sample. I would definitely use another sample of this again. I don't know the price point on this. So if this is something that's like stupid expensive, I'm not going to go out and buy it. But in general, this, I really did enjoy this one. And then one that I was not as crazy about. This is the Anomi Powerful Priming Serum. This is a clinical skin tone corrector radiance booster. This is just a primer. And the light's so bright, guys. I'm sorry. It's just washing this out. There was a ton in this. Again, for a small sample, I was able to use this up and like bend it over and really like push everything out of there. It was just a serum. It did fine, but I followed up with my like regular skin routine on top of that, all my different creams and lotions. So I didn't see anything crazy different about my skin using this with my other regular products. So... I can't really speak to this being anything that really corrected my tone, but I also don't have a lot of tone issues that need correcting. So I guess there's that to be said too. And then this, which is one of my holy grail products that I have not repurchased since I ran out because it's $65. And this is the Peter Thomas Roth Retinol Fusion PM Night Serum. I forget the concentration of retinol in this, but it's pretty high. And for $65, this does last a really long time. This is one fluid ounce of retinol. You only use a couple drops. But I absolutely loved using this in my skincare routine. I do think my skin misses it. I have to repurchase it again. At $65, it's expensive. So, you know, that hurts. But other than that, this is phenomenal. And I really do miss having a retinol in my makeup routine. So then I've got two different perfumes. I finished the Clean Reserve in Blonde Rose and the Clean Reserve in Suede. Both of these were in one of those like um, perfume duo packs. And I think I might have shown it in my Sample September intro video where I showed you like what I had to work through. I know I did. So I'll link the intro video up here if you wanted to take a look at this. But it, I mean, they were still in the packaging, went to go use them, like take them out of the packaging to go use them. And they were both like down here. I got one use out of each of these and then they were empty. I have no idea why these, this particular sample was so empty because the other blonde rose that I got was all the way up at the top. It was totally full, which was bull because I really, really liked them both. And I could only get one day use out of them, like one try out of them. So that sucked. Quick, I did finish up my Urban Decay Eden. This is a nude matte eye primer, eyeshadow primer. So I have, I have a whole bunch of these to go through. I have two other little packets like this to go through, but there's a surprising amount of product in each of these. And I really want to try to work on my MAC Painterly Paint Pot and finish that up for my project pan. So I'm not going to continue to open up another one of these just yet, 
but I really actually liked the Eden. It did the same kind of color correcting as my MAC Painterly. Since I will not be repurchasing a MAC product, I mean, Urban Decay is technically cruelty free with a parent company that tests, yada yada. Everybody has different thoughts on that, but I may end up going for this once my MAC is done because I do want something that color corrects. And this one did a really, really great job. So I liked it. And then I had a Kat Von D. This is their Locket Primer or Locket Featherweight Primer, rather. I finished one of these already in my other sample September video. So I knew that I liked this. This gave me like two or three uses. There was, you know, a decent amount in these. And I do like it. It it, it doesn't really smooth, smooth out my skin or fill in any pores, but it does give my foundation a fantastic base to cling on to. Then I had a couple lippy samples that I finished up. So the first one is the Sugar Lip Treatment with SPF 15. This was just like a clear, you know, no color to it, little pod of, you know, lip balm. So I used that up. An Urban Decay Sheer Shame. So this is one of their sheer lipstick uh, formulas and I don't like them. I prefer a matte lip color with a lot of color payoff. It's just not my formula, but the color was very pretty. And then I also finished off sheer, oh shit, it wore off. It literally wore off. I don't know what this was. So sorry, but I finished it up. Uh, next up is a soft matte lip cream. This one is in Prague. I love this color. It's one of my like holy grail favorite colors, but it's a gorgeous color. It really is more springy. It's pretty empty. So I have to like scoop around the sides to try to get anything out of this. And the smell, it's got like that cakey vanilla-y smell. The, the smell kind of went off a little bit. So I don't want to keep using that and there it really is hard to get a full lip application out of that anyway. Then I have my Stila. This is a smudge stick waterproof eyeliner. This is in Stingray. This is just a black color and it's gone. I lost the cap and when I went to use it again it was just dried up and the whole thing just fell out. So there wasn't very much still left in here but what was left did dry up and I you know it's gone. And the same thing happened with this. This is the Urban Decay. This is one of their velvet glide on pencils. So this is black velvet. And I had this for a while and I don't like Urban Decay eyeliners. I just don't. I really only use black eyeliner in my waterline. These don't stay in my waterline. So I just don't end up using them. And I went to use this and I went to sharpen it and the whole thing came out. Like that's still a lot of product but it's bone dry. If I could pull it in and out of this pencil casing and it doesn't break, it doesn't even transfer onto my fingers. It's so dry. That and then these are empty. So this is my Ulta. This is one of their automatic eyeliner in black brown. And I loved this color, but this is like a twist up that's totally gone. I loved this because it was a darker, deeper brown that I could kind of, kind of get away with it almost looking black. And these did stay in my waterline pretty well. And I would also use this all over my eye, smudge it out really quick and put shadow over it. And they looked gorgeous. Same with this one. And this is their Golden Olive Retractable Eyeliner. This is by NYX. This thing is freaking gorgeous. And I use this all the time in the fall, out in my outer corner, smudge it out, put a gold shadow over the rest of my lid and go. Like this is gorgeous and I love it, but I did use up this whole one and I have a backup, so I'm not that sad about it. And guys, that is my giant basket of empty crud. So that's my trash. I am surprised. I think the majority of this is stuff that I would repurchase and stuff that I really, really enjoyed and kind of staple things that I ran through that I will probably end up having to repurchase. I hope that this was something that you enjoyed, that you learned a little something about some of these products. Maybe you have some suggestions to go out and try yourselves. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and click subscribe and I will see you all in my next video.